Hi guys, Adam here and today we're going to unbox and review the CAT S62 Pro smartphone with thermal imaging camera. Uh, the phone uh, is the third generation from the CAT phone with the thermal uh, camera ability. The first generation was the CAT S60, the second one CAT S61 and 2020 they issued the, the new and latest uh, phone with this imaging uh, cam with the thermal imaging camera ability. Um, if we look at uh, just a quick brief on the history of the phone, the CAT S61 was the first phone to offer the thermal camera uh, imaging ability and uh, the uh, full uh, tough and tumble phone with uh, basically a rating of waterproof and uh, um, and high durability phone, okay? On the second generation, the CAT offered basically a better imaging um, uh, sensor and all the, the sensors basically from the first generation to the, to the last generation, all flare cameras uh, or flare sensors. Uh, so the second generation, they improved, uh, the, everything was uh, du durable and everything, but they improved on the uh, thermal imaging and added uh, the air quality uh, sensor and the distance uh, the laser distance uh, uh, measurement uh, and sadly these two last upgrades from the cat s61 are not in the new version what they did in the new version basically they have uh, improved on the uh, on the uh, thermal imaging side so they ended up uh, putting a new thermal uh, thermal sensor which is the flare uh, 3.5 uh, lipton uh, sensor and this sensor basically giving you four times the pixels that the breed assessor or this, uh, the CAT S61 uh, uh, you would get from the CAT S61. Um, what they did also with the phone, they have refined the way the phone looks. It's no longer uh, this industrial looking uh, phone, but however is more rounded and uh, in parallel with what uh, the the phones uh, the smartphone looks like. However, you need to note one thing: this phone is not a Samsung and is not a uh, an Apple. So you are not competing on the latest and greatest when it comes with the uh, tech that comes in the phone. Okay, uh, if we compare the tech to any of these phones, this phone is not uh, a high tech phone with all the latest of, oh, and greatest. However, it offer. Uh, if you're gonna buy a phone like this, you buy it for what it's offer, which is the thermal ability or the thermal imaging camera that come with it. And that is the reason, bottom line, that was the reason I bought this phone. Okay, I'm gonna go quickly on the specs. I'm not gonna go on everything uh, in the specs, but we're just gonna go on the uh, things that you look at when you're buying a phone. We'll come from, the first thing is, uh, this comes with Android 10, upgradable to Android 11 once it's released. Um, it has the snap the, the processor is a snapdragon 660 uh, with six gigabyte of ram uh, it has a battery of 4000 milliamp and uh, the display is 5.7 inches uh, no wireless charge no uh, and yeah and the camera is a 12 megapixel and the sensor is made by sony uh, so this is not, of course, doesn't compare to any of the, you know, the, the phones of the 2020, such as uh, the Note the Note 20 or whatever in how the, the camera, uh, uh, the camera basically compare. As I mentioned, I bought this, this phone for the thermal ability. Before, um, I've been using this heat seek. Um, basically for troubleshooting all my electrical, hydraulics, and uh, uh, automotive. And it's basically, it's uh, been serving me well. However, it lack one thing. I can take photos with this one, but I cannot take videos. Now, the beauty of this one, you can take photos, you can take videos, and also you can do uh, uh, PDF reporting of what you uh, what you're scanning. So guys, let's go ahead and do the unboxing.
Okay, guys. So we have the phone, a sort of. Let's open here and see what we have here. We have the manual and we have the bin to remove the, the SIM card. Fast charge uh, USB charger. And nothing else in here. And USB uh, A uh, to USB C, so it is the USB C uh, charger. Okay, coming to the phone itself. Let me just uh, let me get this screen out. Okay, if we look at the phone, it comparing to the previous generation, it's more of a rounded phone, it's not as bulky, it's actually thinner than the Cat S61, um, smaller actually in size, uh, it's still heavy, okay, um, the phone is still heavy comparing to any of the other brand, but you can tell, if you're looking here on the side, you can tell you're buying something that's it's actually is big toughness, it's, it doesn't speak uh, cheap, uh, plastic or cheap frame, it, the phone basically speak toughness. Um, if you look here, this will be the power buttons, the volume buttons um, on the side. On here will be the uh, C um, uh, USB-C uh, charging port and it's fully waterproof. Um, on the side here, we have our uh, uh, SIM card or the expandable uh, um, macro SD card and we have here th this phone is a bro uh, th this button is a is programmable uh, button which basically you can program it uh, to any of the apps that you have camera whatever and also it's got bush to talk app uh, built in um, in the phone and you can use this button with so let's power oh let's Look at the back, we look at the back here, we have our cameras, the thermal camera and the standard camera, uh, 12 megapixel, 12 megapixel camera, uh, Sony sensor, this is basically finger scanner, this is the finger scanner, okay. Uh, front here, we have our uh, front facing camera we, and the front facing camera, I believe it's only 5 megapixel, okay, so let's power. Let's just okay. Cat Android. Hi guys, as mentioned earlier in the video, this phone basically was bought as an upgrade to my current uh, uh, thermal tool and will be used as so. Uh, so I'm not going to go into the, the whole Android things. 99.9% uh, .9 of the world population use Androids and they are familiar with uh, Android. This is Android 10, uh, so there's nothing different the way to operate from any other Android. Uh, you scan up and you go into the pre-installed menu. That is the men that is uh, the pre-installed apps. This is the pre-installed apps on the phone. You uh, pull down and you go to the quick access and the setting setting bar. Um, the what the phone uh, the phone will be used for is the thermal and that's what I'm gonna be reviewing. Okay, if we look at the the thermal uh, my flare app. Okay, you will see here um, on top, basically, or we start from the bottom, here we have the ballot. You press this button and you change the filter. Um, and we have the macro here. Uh, to use, you adjust the, the macro when you are looking at 
object or scanning an object that is very close to the phone okay we go to the next button which is the mode button and in the mode button we have the camera uh, for taking photos we have the the uh, videos and we have a live stream video uh, youtube uh, live stream and we have the time lapse okay we go to the button after that i'm not really sure what this button does um I will have to look at the manual. Then you have, after that, you have the gallery button. Uh, on top here, we will have uh, the access to the settings. We have here the flash on off. We have a timer on off. Then we have uh, the camera settings, basically the temperature unit, uh, Celsius and, and so on. Uh, you select it from there. And going back, you will have this uh, icon here and this icon basically will give you four mode of scanning the first one is just a thermal okay and looking at my phone here i'm just gonna try to hold it like that um you will see here my hand and it's just nothing but a blob of of heat okay now what is the s60 uh to offer than the other phones is the software having this blending between the the thermal imaging and the normal camera on your phone uh, to give you a more of a of realistic uh, imaging so the next mode is msk sorry and the in the msk you will see here my hand started to get of a bit of a, a lining uh, than the the other the other uh, mode before it then you go in here into the vivid and in the vivid will give you this more of realistic uh realistic look basically uh of what you're looking uh, of the image um it's a blend between a the thermal and the, um, uh, and the normal uh, normal camera if you look at the bar down here the bar down here is for you to blend basically you're controlling the blend the amount of blend right now is 50 50 then you have this force uh, mode basically and that is the normal as a normal image you're taking the photos as normal image okay um okay in here we'll have the spot meter and a spot meter you can put as many as you can on while you uh, sampling you can basically put the spot meter you can actually add more uh, this is basically you can drag and you monitor certain areas um, it can be a point uh, so this is basically and this is just uh, it give you a bit of orientation on the uh, on the image okay as I said, this is a spot meter. You can add as much as you basically uh, you want. We come to the side. This is the side uh, the sidebar basically, and it gives you a bit of a color uh, color indicator of your heat. You can actually in a setting you can change that. And if you look here, there is a small uh, two arrows. In these two arrows, you are able to set um, a minimum and low uh, with the uh, like I'm gonna use the red here, and green is my low, and you can set actually uh, temperature, the temperature alarm, um, temperature alarm. Okay, so let's just get out of all of this stuff here. Uh, this is to lock, if you lock in a certain temperature. Okay, let me just, uh, delete. let's delete all of this. Okay, guys, I'm not going to worry about deleting all of that right now. Um, and basically, this one here is to toggle between uh, the high temperature. This scanner can toggle between the 120 degrees to the 400 degrees. And this one here is to refresh uh, the sensor, refresh, uh, refreshing the sensor. Okay. Okay, guys, as I mentioned, the... Uh, the this sensor basically what makes the sensor uh, very good is the refresh rate it's very fast uh, tracking basically and also it has the more pixels um, so 
you can actually see uh, the image very, very good. I'm gonna take a photo quickly, uh, just to show you. Uh, you can take a photo of my hand. Okay. So the cool things about the phone actually uh, is the reporting function that you have. We don't have an image. Okay. So the cool function of, of that is you can go and edit and you can actually add spot meter where you, uh, you can add spot meters. So I'm going to add one here. Okay, and I'm gonna add one day, so one on the surface, one on my hand, and it give you the temperature difference. Basically, it give you the you can monitor many spots on your uh, work area for uh, temperature differential. And the cool thing is, you can go down. Uh, let's save it. Uh, save. Okay, and if we go out, we can actually go like that, and we go to the standard image. Uh, you can share the image and also you can print a PDF and in PDF it gives you actually a couple of options. I will uh, definitely have some of this PDF reports um, on the screen. Um, I will have also some uh, better imaging with the, thermal, uh, with, the with the thermal camera and I will take a normal uh, image with the normal camera and I will put at the end of the video. But if we look here, this is if looking at the sampling uh, sample report. Is giving you my the thermal image is giving you the normal image and is giving you all that is of the temperature and so on uh, guys as i mentioned earlier this is my first ever uh phone review and uh, forgive me if i have missed on anything or um, i haven't uh stressed certain point if there is something that you would like me to to view on a separate video um, or function that you would like to 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 ask uh, uh, performance or anything that i have missed on please give me a comment and feedback and definitely i will uh, i will make a separate video on this topic till the next time thank you